Hi there and welcome to this 2 Minute Tips video and today we're looking at fine tune optimal exposure. The fine tune optimal exposure functionality has been around in Nikon digital cameras for some time. I've seen it in cameras since my D800 and there was an earlier version in my D200. It allows you to adjust the exposure that the camera calculates and it can be set for each metering method and if your camera has menu banks then it can be set differently for each menu bank. It's similar to using the exposure compensation button but I look at it as a more permanent approach because you have to go into the menus to set it rather than the exposure compensation which is more temporary and can be quickly adjusted from the exposure compensation button or lens ring. So to set this up, if you've got a Z8 or Z9 that have menu banks, you need to go into the menu bank that you want first off. And you then go to the custom settings menu. And you'll find this in the metering and exposure section, section B. And in the Z8 it's B6, but it may depend on your camera. And when you go into the setting, you'll get a quick warning and you have to select yes. And then you'll be given a series of options for each of the different metering methods that you have in your camera. So in the Z8, it has matrix metering, center weighted, spot, and then highlight weighted. In each of these, you can adjust the baseline exposure up and down in one sixth of an EV increment up to plus one EV and down to minus one EV. You've got to remember once you've set the adjustment you want, you've got to press OK to lock that in and then you can come out. Equally, once you've set it, it won't show up on the LCD as any kind of compensation. So you've got to remember that you've set it, but you can adjust it using the exposure compensation back up and down from your new baseline. So when might this be useful? Well, modern digital sensors have a great ability to recover detail in the shadows, whereas it can't recover from blown out highlights. In high dynamic range situations, such as sunny situations where you have sun and shade, I tend to underexpose perhaps by as much as 0.7 EV, um, as I tend to shoot in raw and I know I will be doing some post-processing so I can adjust to bring the details out of the shadows at that point. So I find if I want, I can set minus seven EV we're using this functionality and then further fine tune it using exposure compensation depending on the situation. Don't forget if you're shooting RAW and JPEG images at the same time it will affect both images equally so you may need to batch adjust your JPEGs to bring them back up to um, where they would have been if you hadn't changed the setting if you don't intend to do post-processing out of camera. Let us know in the comments below, do you just use exposure compensation or do you use this functionality as well? And as always, it'd be great to see you on a future video.